Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hello and welcome. And if you are back, welcome back. Today, I'm here with a little unboxing to share with you all from a new to me shop called The Creativity Squirrel. Um, the owner, Bex, actually reached out to me and let me know that she'd sent some stuff over to my PO box. And that was actually a little while back, and I'm just now I'm having the chance to get around to this. But you guys know that I love supporting and finding out about small shops in the community. And a huge thank you to Bex for sending this over for me to share with you guys. I am excited to get into it. So uh, the Creativity Squirrel has some licensed diamond painting kits as well as some diamond painting accessories. And it looks like she sent both. These both came in a cardboard box, but I opened it up just to to see how everything was in there. But I haven't actually gotten into it. I don't know what kit is here, or what the accessories are. So I'll start with this little accessories pack and let's take a look. So hi, how are you guys doing today? I hope that your day is off to a wonderful start so far. And the Creativity Squirrel is on Etsy and I'm trying to remember, is she in New Zealand or Australia? She is overseas. And I know that's always really nice when you can find someone that, you know, if you don't live in the United States, if you find someone that does live in your country, that can help save on shipping costs. So there's the business card with their socials. That's pretty. A little thank you note. And then some little freebie candies. Little baby Tic Tac container, cute. And then, let's see. By the way, that's my cat in the background you guys are hearing. <laughs> Ooh, do we have some washi tape? I think I just popped that label right off. So that was all on me from how I popped the tweezers in there. Cute. Do you guys know how I love my washi tape? Oh my gosh, thank you so much. You guys, she sent five rolls of washi tape over. Look how cute these are. Oh my gosh. So lots of different fun prints. And I bet some of these would coordinate with the artwork that she has in her shop. So fun. So in here's, oh, they're, they're taped on the side, okay. Yeah, of course, right when I start filming is when my cat decides to go nuts. That's just, that's him. So there's the branding on the side of the washi tape. So cute. Yay, fun accessories. If you're curious about how to use washi tape with a diamond painting, I like to use it around the edges of the drill field to cover up any glue that goes past the edge there. It prevents dust or dirt from getting in there. Um, and I also use it to section off my canvas as well. Okay, so we also have some hard and sticky wax. Here's some information about how to use it. So I'll have to test this out soon. There we go. So I'd imagine I'll scrape with it, though I'll read the instructions before I do as well. So thanks for sending over those accessories, Bex. I am really excited to get a look at this diamond painting now. Okay, I feel bad to open up how beautifully it's wrapped. I don't even need the scissors. Right, let's take a look. So, all right, let's unroll it. So it's rolled with the drill field facing out. Oh, wow. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh my goodness. I love underwater artwork as well. Mermaids, I have such a soft spot for. That's beautiful. Okay, let me show you what else was included here. Hold on a second. Okay, make sure I didn't lose anything here. Okay, so this was rolled inside. And okay, so we have this larger sticker sheet. Yeah, this is sticker sheet material. There is the original artwork. Let's see. I don't see the title on here, but at the bottom corner, the name of this one is Water Dream, and it's uh, copyright Mira Bateva. So that's the name of this one. So pretty. So we have these labels. They are a little bit large, but that's not, you know, it's not a huge deal. Uh, 53 colors in total. It looks like one, two, three, four, five ABs. By the way, the number you see over here is the DMC code that comes from the DMC brand of Floss. Most diamond painting companies use this color code system, so it is relatively universal. There are exceptions, but most diamond painting companies use that, that color code system. Uh, the symbols, these look familiar, like maybe I've worked on a, on a similar kind of canvas before. 
Uh, we'll take a look at the, at the actual canvas itself to see the clarity of the drill field here shortly. We have a basic toolkit here. So we've got, let's see. We have a pen and squishy. We have a couple of thin plastic multi-placers as well if you wanna try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. We've got a basic white tray here as well as some pink wax. Be sure you peel off, there's a thin plastic film on there. You wanna peel off before you try loading up your pen. And then a pair of tweezers, they're a little pointy. So really, that's everything you need to your diamond painting. This looks like it's a little bit larger though, so you might wanna do some upgrades. But you know what, I fully expect companies to just include a basic toolkit like this, if any toolkit at all. Look at those colors. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll take a closer look at the diamonds here in just a minute. I would like to look closer at the canvas with you guys first though. Uh, so if you find your canvas wanting to roll back a little bit, that's completely normal. That happens with a lot of canvases. It's just part of how it's shipped. This canvas definitely has poured glue. You can usually tell because there's this clear plastic cover on the top. So it is safe to roll back the opposite direction and that will help it lay more flat. Actually, the rest of it's laying flat fine. It's just this one end, so I'm just gonna do it that much. Now, there's that whole canvas. Let me zoom you out just a little bit so that you can so you can see her all in frame there. That's really pretty. Um, let's see how big this is. It says, oh, it says 85 by 70 centimeters down here at the corner. So let's take a look. Yeah, we're just a tick shy of 85. And then we are, well, that must be a labeling error. Not a huge deal. Um, it is 55 centimeters top to bottom. I'll just send her a message and let her know. I'm sure that that's just a, an error with what was written on the canvas. I was like, this doesn't look like 85 by 70. It looks like it's 85 by 55. So um, anyway, so we have their, their branding at the top, the creativity squirrel. And then at the edges of the canvas, you can see they're scalloped and they're finished. The, the material itself on the front is kind of like a shiny, material sorry my cat again the back is that short lint soft lint canvas that's pretty popular at the moment um I've, i know i've worked on canvases that are i think from probably the same manufacturer before and they hold drills nicely they lay flat well nothing to complain about we have a legend over here at the top left as well as over here at the bottom right and then at the bottom left we have the thumbnail and then Water Dream Square. I'm not sure if this one's offered with round drills as well or just square, but this one they sent me in squares. And then Copyright Mira Bateva. So this is Lily licensed from this artist, which means that they've both given permission for the use of their artwork and are being compensated for it. So that is super important to me. I love that we have small shops that are, that are doing that. They're licensing their artwork. Here are links to their socials once more. And then if we look up close at the drill field, actually, let me bring you back in. So we have very clear printing and there's areas that definitely have more confetti like we've got going on in here. Confetti is when you have lots of color changes in a small area. Areas like that, you'll be changing out the color in your tray more often and probably mostly single placing. So those take a little bit longer, but the payoff is that you usually get a little bit more detail. We do also have some areas of what we call color blocking. Here's a good example, actually a really easy one. Uh, this is where we have lots of the same color in a small area. So you can use your multi-placer and have that color in your tray for a bit longer. So I like to have a nice mix of both on my canvases because Confetti keeps it interesting, but color blocking keeps it moving. I like that I'm not seeing a ton of confetti in her in her face and her skin tones, so hopefully that'll have a nice effect. Her eyes look gorgeous. So gorgeous blues. Yeah, again, just mixes of color blocking and confetti, so hopefully it'll have a nice pop of details here. The symbol clarity looks pretty good from what I'm seeing. So I don't, I'm not seeing any symbols that look like, oh no, I'm gonna mix those two up or anything like that. So that's good for sure. Uh, let's take a look at these diamonds now. So it came in this nice long strand and let's open it up. All right, so let's just pick out a few colors to look at. So, okay, the number on the bag is gonna correspond with 
your legend numbers. There's not a DMC code on the bag. It's just the like 29 matches up with 29. Yeah, this is 939, a dark blue color. And it's nice that they come in resealable bags. I know a lot of people actually prefer to work out of these resealable bags because then they're not having to put, you know, these into storage containers or anything like that. You could cut those labels out and put them directly on here. Or if you're like me, I prefer to work out of storage containers. Um, I'd pour these into storage containers and then put the labels on those storage containers. So I put those in there the wrong way. Okay. <clears throat> so these are square drills, which Squares can be a little bit, a little bit of a gamble sometimes because the way that squares fit on a canvas, they're much tighter. Uh, if there's if there's issues with inconsistency in sizing or shape or anything like that, then that can make working with squares a little bit tricky. But at first glance, these squares look good. I think okay, she included a note. I forgot to mention this, you guys. She did include a note, and uh, yes, they are resin drills. So. Uh, her squares are square, are resin squares, which is good. Resin, I feel like, is really what you want when it comes to square diamonds. I'm less picky when it comes to rounds. Again, I'm not sure if she offers round diamonds uh, as an option with her kits, but these squares look good. Okay, by the way, I'm just going to mention this because this is a really common issue I have personally with resealable baggies. It's highly climate dependent. But if you notice how some of these diamonds are clinging to the sides of the bags, you can kind of see them there and kind of hopping a little bit, jumping in there. That's static. If you run into issues with static in your bags, because it can really be a huge headache if you try to pour those diamonds into a tray or pour them back in. Uh, I cut up a piece of dryer sheet into little squares and I'll just tuck one or two or even three into these bags and kind of just shake it around and move it around so it's hitting all parts of the bag and all parts of the diamonds that usually takes care of the static for me so i would recommend trying that if you run into static now i do want to get over here to the end because i saw our ab's so you guys we have five of these special diamond colors in this kit these are ab diamonds ab stands for aurora borealis and just like the northern lights these have a gorgeous pretty shimmery kind of iridescent effect that amazing coating on the top that's going to make these pop stand out from the diamonds around them and draw your eye to the areas they've been placed and they can just be really really beautiful enhancements so what i want to do now i think there's a little bag that must have just a couple of diamonds open um is i want to find where these enhancement diamonds are going to go so we have five of those colors like i said uh, we have this aqua color which we have a really big bag of we have two shades of red kind of a more orangey red and more of a true cherry red and then this is kind of a grayish blue with a really striking iridescent coating. And this one is more of like a true blue. So let's see. So both shades of red ABs are doing some highlighting in the fish. Let me see. Okay, those two symbols are what I'm looking for. Uh, I see the brighter orangey one through here and the other red one, the true cherry red through here. Um, the more orangey one through this fish and this fish and some of the fins on this fish. So the fish are really going to shimmer. And then I see some of the darker red through here. And I'm trying to see. I'm sure I'm missing some because it is quite confetti heavy. There's some right here, the darker red or kind of the cherry red. And then there's a little bit of the orangey red in her lips, actually. And then up here, do we have any? I see some of the darker red and a sprinkling of the orangey red through here. So those are two red colors. And then the, let's see, that aqua blue color uh, is, there's a little bit in here. It's kind of doing a little bit of highlighting through these little like bubble looking bits. And where is all of it? In her hair that's where a bunch oh yeah there's a ton of it you guys uh, that aqua blue it's not the lightest blue colors it's actually one of the like kind of middle blue colors doing tons of highlighting all throughout her hair including over here so that's gonna be gorgeous and there's a little bit kind of in these splashy bits and bubbles love that and then we have let's see our kind of grayish blue color is throughout here kind of oh this is actually this is part of her hair as well 
Okay, and then the true blue color is doing some outlining. Yeah, the true, the, both of those other colors, the grayish blue and the more true, like medium blue color are kind of through some of these areas. So her hair is totally gonna glisten. Uh, yeah, there's some of that gray blue through here. And same thing on her hair over here. There's a bunch of the kind of truer blue color through here, as well as accenting over in here, actually. So yeah, lots throughout her hair. That's just gonna kind of give this whole thing kind of an overall shimmery effect, I think. So that AB placement is really, really pretty. Uh, I love that, five ABs in this beautiful kit. So just to give you a quick recap, and also I have a discount code to share with you guys that the Creativity Squirrel gave me as well. So the name of this is Water Dream. It's licensed from the artist Mira Bateva. And uh, if you would like to make a purchase, I have a 10% off coupon code that she that she shared. It's so funny um, and so sweet. So it's Katie Rocks 10. I'll pop it up on the screen for you. And that saves you 10% off your purchase. So um, just FYI, I actually really, really appreciate this about the Creativity Squirrel is that some of her artwork like this is from more of a traditional artist. And she also has some that is uh, produced through different mediums like AI. And I appreciate that she's very transparent about that in the descriptions of her kits. So if this is something that you're you're interested in or, or you want to check if you have feelings about it, you can absolutely do so. And I highly value transparency around this particular subject with shops. So props to the creativity squirrel for that um i will link to this kit below and their shop and their socials so thank you again to the creativity squirrel for sending this over i hope you guys enjoyed getting to see something from a new small shop in the community and um i will see i <laughs> if i'm able to work on this at some point soon larger square kits with lots of confetti i just kind of have to make mental space for it but i think that this looks at first glance like it would be really pretty and hopefully this shop is also a really nice option for those of you that are overseas like i said i believe she's based in either new zealand or australia and so if you live in either of those countries um wherever she's based you might be able to save a bit more on shipping too which is nice so thank you guys so much for watching feel free to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with my diamond painting content and future reviews and unboxings and whatnot and tutorials i'd love to have you here otherwise i'm gonna let you go i hope you have an amazing rest of your day and i'll chat with you in the next one Bye.